okay? That is a no-no. It's time for you to clean up this room. No! <laughs> Hi, I'm Dorothy Fawn. I am a full-time mother. I am a theater actress, singer, uh, I do plays, and I'm a voice actor. I have done Conan in Naruto. As long as you complete your work, anything else you care to do is your own business. I did Maribit in Gundam, Iron-Blooded Orphans. Lilymon! Rosemon and a bunch of other mons in Digimon. I've done some games lately. I did uh, Chihiro, Sumugi, and Sayaka in Danganronpa. Uh, I did Renea in Fire Emblem Echoes, Sonya in Shining Resonance Refrain, and I did the small Nar in League of Legends. That's one that I really like because he was just a bunch of little noises. <laughs> I was just pursuing my thing and uh, got into voice acting by accident. What? Because it wasn't a huge thing back then. Uh, we're talking like the early 90s. There was no anime on TV. There was um, Kimba and Speed Racer. That was the extent of anime on TV. There was no Toonami. There was no, you know, anything. My husband, Tom Fun, who plays Agumon in Digimon, by the way, he was working at a different film company, and the guy that he works with, Victor Garcia, came in one day and said, Hey guys, you, yeah, Tom, Steve, come over here. I got this project, actually a bunch of projects from Japan. They're cartoons from Japan, and they want to dub them into English. You guys are actors, right? I've heard you do funny voices. And so he got uh, me and Steve Bloom, who was working at the same film company, uh, pretty much our whole family. He just said, you guys are all actors, come on, come on, come on. So, and one of the first things that we recorded was a Super Dimension Century Orgus, long time ago. And from there, it was just another one, and another one, and another one, and like snowballed into this whole huge thing that it is now. Anime is actually harder to do than original animation. Because when you do original animation, you're You've got your script and your microphone, and you create the character, and you can do whatever you want. But in anime, you have to match lip flaps that are already there. Act, timing, lip flaps, all at the same time, and this is the first job you have <laughs> as a voice actor. So it's, yeah, it's something. It's really good to have a big range, because then you can, you know, play a lot more characters. Um, when I was starting out, everything I got cast in was pretty close to my natural speaking voice. <laughs> Even though I had training, that's what I would suggest. Vocal training is good. Since I was a singer at the time, it was easier to, uh, to find different places in your voice to do different characters. I would say acting class, singing class, diction class, all that stuff can help you out. And practice, practice, practice. I love it. <laughs> I love it because um, as an actor, you're a creative person. You have to be creative. You cannot exist if there's no creativity. Something fun and whimsical. It's acting, it's voice acting, it's just creating, creating a character in whatever medium it is. Um, if you love it, if that's your passion, it's just, you know, the icing on the cake <laughs> to be able to perform as a voice actor. I'll answer that question in part two on Talking Voices. I'm Dorothy Fawn, and subscribe to Verity VoiceOver on YouTube. Flower Cannon!